Hey everyone, thanks for joining us again as we zoom around the county. Today we're talking about the Area Agency on Aging and we have two very special guests. We are joined by Steve and it's always a good day with Renee, our former host. So it's good to see you guys. Good to see, good you. To see you. Yeah, so I know you guys have a lot going on. Uh, I'm going to let you guys kind of tell us about how you're still operating and you're still open. So what would you like to get to the public there, Steve? Yeah, hi. First, we'd like to say uh, welcome to all our seniors that may, might be seeing us now and haven't seen us for quite a while. We just want to let everybody know that we are open and we're in the office some days, but we can always be reached and we want to make sure people reach out to us and we can still help you with all the services we did prior. So Medicare counseling, we can still take care of that over the phone. We can still do home delivered meals and we are doing that. So give us a call. Telephone Reassurance is a great program where if you are a senior or you have a loved one that might want some daily contact, weekly contact over the phone, we would love to be able to help out and just reach out and say hi to people. So uh, the main thing is uh, we have a lot of programs and we're going to give you some information today, mainly some contact information so you can reach out to us. Sure. So let, let's just get that out of the way because I know right away, how can people get a hold of you guys? Absolutely. Well, if you if you use the phone, mostly you can call us at 410-758-1040. So if you get that, you will certainly get a call back. And you can also reach us via email at agingadmin at qac.gov. Great. All right. And I know we got time to talk about you have a couple of programs going on. Could you give us some more details on uh, things that are being updated? Absolutely. We have a new program that we'd like to share with everyone. So this is a very stressful time and we understand that. And if someone you care for or yourself, you're feeling a little bit down, sad, or blue, and maybe you've lost some interest in pleasurable activities because you can't see people and you can't socialize, there's a program called PEARLS. And it's a program that we can get you in contact with professionals. And it's a voluntary program. It's for six months and it's eight one-hour sessions over the phone. And you will talk with a professional to try to help you with those symptoms of feeling a little bit down and sad and uh, Certainly what we want to do is help you uh, stay as lively and vital at home as, as you can. So that's what we're here for. Great, great. And besides Pearls, I know you guys are always doing lots of other stuff. Is there anything else we wanted to get out before we, uh, we pass it over? Yeah, I mean, if you just about anything, so we are doing home delivered meals. Um, that's not unlimited, but we can certainly help people. Mm -hmm. Medicare counseling, just like we did before, we have that telephone reassurance program. And anything, I mean, if you have questions about your Medicare plan, about Medicaid, uh, if, if you have something coming up, going to be new to enroll in Social Security, anything, you know, anything that you might have used this before, we're still here. So we can absolutely feel those calls. We can talk to you and help you in any way that we can to the best of our ability at this point. So, Right. Well, that's wonderful. Yeah, I know it, it's hard right now. People just can't reach out and shake a hand, but they can reach out. They can send a phone call or an email, and you guys are more than happy to, to help anyone in the county. Oh, absolutely. That's great. And we also have Renee with us today. I know Renee has some stuff she wants to talk about. So, Renee, I miss talking with you. What do you got going on? Well, I miss you too, Bruce, and hello, everybody. We hope everyone is staying safe, healthy, and happy at home. Um, we just want you to know, just like Steve said earlier, we are here to keep you independent, to make sure you stay home, stay safe. We can do everything we've been doing for you. Um, right now, this is around the time for recertifications for some of the services that Department of Social Services offers. Um, this is also our home tax credit application time. So you can mail that information. You can, if you have capability, you can scan an email or you can call us. We will make sure that we do everything we can to get a hold of the information that you need us to have. We have not stopped. We are still working. Uh, if you call the number that Steve just gave you, the 410-758-1040, it will be forwarded to us. Someone will call you back that day. So even if one of our uh, staff members is unavailable, another staff member is able to get the call, answer your call, and even move forward with you. So we want to let you know we are here to, to for you. We're here. We're working for you diligently, and um, you know, just give us a call. That's great, Renee. I know you guys are busy, and you guys are doing everything you can. But we want you know send a special thank you to both of you because you took time out of your busy day to talk with us. So I was wondering if you could just say maybe a last goodbye or a last uh, message for the community before we let you off the hook today. 
You want to go over now? <laughs> yeah, I just want to. I just want them to say. I want to say, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy. Don't forget to wear your mask. If you have gloves, put those on. Sanitize. Wash those hands. It's all important. We're doing a great job and we want to continue to do a great job. And don't forget, we're here for you. Sure. Steve? Yeah, one thing I would like to add is if you go to QAC or um, aging page, QAC aging page, if you go to the senior center, you'll, and it'll, it'll pop up. One of the senior centers, Graysonville, Ken Island or Sudlersville, on those pages, there are some exercise classes that are being posted. So if you're home and you have Facebook, go ahead and get on your local or your uh, neighborhood or closest senior center, and there's some exercise classes. So that's another way to spend some time at home. You can do some, some exercises that you might normally have done at the center. So that's a great opportunity. And there's other information they post on there as well. And again, I would like to echo what Renee said, is everybody please stay safe uh, to the best of your ability, stay healthy, use that information that we've given you, please reach out and we'll try to refer you to pearls if, if that's something that you think that may be beneficial to you. And, and most of all that we, we are here and we're available and we'd love to be able to uh, talk to you and help you in any way we can. And we appreciate you guys for allowing us to be on here today. Yes, of course, anytime. And you know, the community owes you guys a lot. You do a lot that they don't even see. So I commend you guys. Thank you for joining us. We were zooming around the county today. We were talking with Steve and Renee from the Area Agency on Aging. And reach out to them if you need anything. And we'll see you next time.